Hello, friends and not yet friends. Welcome to another What I Eat Wednesday, the show where I share all my delicious vegan eats in a day. Sometimes I admit, not so delicious. But this day is not one of those days, despite the look of this plain block of traditional tofu. This type is actually way softer than the extra firm tofu that I usually buy, and the texture is smooth. If you haven't guessed already, we're making a tofu scramble, cooking out the water from the tofu over medium high heat. A lot of water will leach out. This part takes a few minutes. For some color, I'm adding a bit of turmeric. Not too much, as this spice can be a little bitter. But doesn't that look like scrambled eggs already? It doesn't taste like it though. Still tastes just like tofu, albeit a fairly light tasting tofu. In goes a wee bit more turmeric for a brighter color and for flavor, a little bit of hot green pepper, some white pepper, and some black salt, also known as kalanamak, which will give this whole thing an eggy aroma. Finally, soy sauce. This combination of flavors makes a scramble that is very similar to the Chinese influenced scrambled eggs that I used to make all the time, but I think this version is even better. Plus, it's healthier because it's lower in fat and cholesterol free. So we have that with some smoky paprika seitan. I'll be sharing the recipe for that in another video. And then some scallions and some aquafaba mayo. Because why not? And also I wanted this shot for the aquafaba mayo video. Speaking of which, Strawberry Hedgehog Soap on Instagram made it right after I posted the video. I think about 20 minutes after. Which is impressive enough. But then she went and turned it into a creamy Italian salad dressing. So shout out to her. Anyways, this scramble was so delicious, soft and tasty tofu, and this seitan, juicy, salty, and perfect. You know what else is perfect? These fantastic, fantastic burgers done by Fitness to Cosplay and Two City Vegans. Beautiful. Javanese Vegan took that recipe and turned it into little rice balls with spicy tahini dressing. So friggin' tasty looking. I love it when you take my recipes and then give them your own spin. Like Kristen, who made my baked blueberry cheesecake, but used a walnut crust. And Vegan in YYC, who started with my yeast donut recipe, and then made cookies and cream mini donuts. Irresistible. For some reason, I didn't make tea first thing in the morning, so I made it after breakfast. I think you may have seen this tea already, or at least I showed it in my last grocery haul from one of my favorite stores. Bulk Barn, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag I wish. For lunch, I made some spicy chickpeas for lettuce wraps. First, I sauteed some onions. Now, water sauteing doesn't give you the same flavor as sauteing properly with oil, but since I'm gonna add a bunch more flavor later, the oil isn't important here. After the onions turned soft, I added chickpeas and crushed garlic. And then in goes some Korean red pepper powder and soy sauce. By the way, the ingredients and the amounts are listed in the description below so you can give these meals a try at home too. And of course, let me know if you do. Hoisin sauce adds some sweetness. And a couple drops of toasted sesame oil adds a lot of roasty toasty sesame flavor. Set that aside and I started on a couple ears of fresh, locally grown corn. I pulled off the husks and the silks and brushed on a little canola oil all over. Those went directly under the broiler. While I was waiting for those, I decided to use up some onions and tomatoes and make some salsa. Then I took half of that and mixed in some cilantro because I love cilantro, my boyfriend hates it. That only took a few minutes, so when that was done, it was time to turn the corn. It took about 15 minutes for the corn to get nicely charred all around, but not too charred. They smelled so good already, but then I smothered them in aquafaba mayo mixed with chili powder and some other seasonings, and a squeezy of lime. Corn perfection, my friends. So my boyfriend and I had one each and the chickpeas in fresh green lettuce. But honestly, the salsa was a bit out of place. The flavors didn't really go well with the chickpeas, so that was a bit of a fail. I mean, separately good, but together, not so much. 
At the end of the day, I was all cooked out. So I fell back on the good old Asian staple white rice and a giant piece of homemade kimchi. Cut it up with scissors in what Mummy Tang might say was a very classy style. And then beans, plain black beans, super basic, but the garlicky, salty, tangy kimchi was all the seasoning that this bowl required. Lazy dinner after a not so lazy day. And that was my food day. How was yours? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you try any of these recipes from the video because you know, I'm nosy like that. Thanks so much for watching friends. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this one. Bye for now.